Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to use my learning plan to get a course approval and a course reimbursement. So when you sign in to your my learning plan, you'll come to this, your home page. Over here on the left in the menu you want to go to forms, you want to select forms and you want to select course approval. Now there's a couple of tricky things about filling out this form. Anything that is in red is required. You can see that anything in gray is not. So for some reason they don't need don't need that information here, the grade, subject, professional status, all that. Uh, course title they need. Shakespeare for everyone. They need a description. It's fun. They don't need the URL for the description, but if you have it from the course catalog, you might want to throw that in there. They need a start and end date for the course. We'll say it's going to start this Monday, January 6th, and it's going to end on the 28th of February. Now here's one of the tricky parts. College University Provider, click to select. They have these default options. Obviously, not, not applicable. Not on list, enter below. You have to select this and then put in your college or university that you, are, that you are taking the class from. Reimbursement requested. This is the total amount of money that you are requesting to be reimbursed for. So I'm going to put $1,010. You need to select one of the goals based on what the course is. We're going to go re teaching best teaching practices. Select the purpose. You can select one or both of these. You want to select salary advancement, obviously. Credits, go with three. Uh, now, again, red here, registration. So it's going to ask you, okay, the registration was $1,000. The activity fee was 10 so your total is $1,010. Now you're going to hit Submit. And that will go to Dr. Branco. To be reimbursed, please follow the instructions on the screen. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please contact Dr. Branco.